Pucians, what is going on? Welcome to the first episode ever of Pucian News. I know, I know, very exciting. So this is just going to be a series for me to connect with you, to let you know what's been going on in my life for the past week, what I've been playing, um, what's going to be going on with my channel, what you can expect, and also what's going on in the world of video games. So we'll start with what's going on in the world of video games, and you know, of course, save the best for last, which would be, uh, what's going on in my life. I am just going off GameSpot's rankings of Game of the Year, because that is a topic, um, that is recent. So I will talk about that. Uh, I'm just going to talk about what games won for Game of the Year for their various categories and give you a little bit of my two cents. You can guess what won for the best reissue out of everything that was nominated. That would be Grand Theft Auto V! Though I would have loved to see Pokemon Omega Ruby win in this category just because I grew up on Pokemon games. It's what got me on to video games as a topic in general. Now we move on to the mobile uh, gaming category in which Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft won. You go Blizzard just knocking it out with your new expansion and your mobile app game type card thing. I haven't played it. I have the app on my iPad and I've been meaning to do it. I just haven't had the time. I mean, I can't think of anything else that really would deserve to win in this category, but I have been playing Best Fiends right here. Um, I love this game. It's like, it's like Candy Crush on drugs, but I really enjoy this game. I, I think this deserves more recognition, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug them. Um, Best Fiends app on the App Store. Okay, so 3DS nominees. I have not played any of the nominees, but what ended up winning was Bravely Default. Uh, among those nominees were Shovel Knight, um, Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS, obviously, and the uh, lawyer game Phoenix Wright. Uh, I, I don't have much input on that, so. For the Wii U nominees, I bet you can guess what won Mario Kart 8. No contest there. For the PS Vita nominees, Velocity 2X won Game of the Year for 2014. Um, it looks pretty awesome and cartoony. I mean, I don't have a Vita, so I guess I don't have any input here. I'm just informing you. I'm don't shoot the messenger. I, this is just inform you what's won in, according to GameSpot. For PS3, 2014 winner is The Last of Us Left Behind. Also in that pool of nominees was the South Park, Stick of Truth, Dragon Age Inquisition, Med Metal Gear Solid 5, and Dark Souls 2. So, what do I have to say about this? I do have The Last of Us. I haven't played Dark Souls 2, but I hear it pales in comparison to the first one, which I have played, and I love Dark Souls. And I keep hearing amazing things about Inquisition. I have played South Park, Stick of Truth which was freaking hilarious, but the gameplay was really simple as a video game. The game itself was enjoyable because of the humor, but I don't think it offers much in terms of gameplay. Um, it's basically point and click, but it's still fun. But I, I, I am a huge believer in Dragon Age. I love, I love Dragon Age, which I'm so sad I haven't gotten Inquisition yet, so that would have been my, my choice. Okay. For the PS4, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor 1. I find Shadow of Mordor to be kind of repetitive in some places. It's mainly the same thing over and over again, just plugging away, but you know. Xbox 360 nominees, Inquisition again is nominated but does not win against South Park Stick of Truth, Metal Gear, so Metal Gear Solid 5, Dark Souls 2, and Titanfall. Um, and Dark Souls 2 won it, which I'm very surprised by that. A lot of people were unhappy with Dark Souls 2, 2014, so. Okay, so we're into the Xbox One category. What won, according to GameSpot, in 2014 was again Shadow of Mordor. But they have yet to release the PC Game of the Year for 2014. They're actually going to announce it in 21 hours and 3 minutes, so I'll link this webpage in this video so you can see for yourself. Among the PC nominees are... I will read them to you. Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft, the card game again. 
Divinity, Original Sin, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, Dragon Age Inquisition, and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Again, I am rooting for Dragon Age Inquisition wholeheartedly. And then, December 18th, on this webpage, you will see the game of the year all time. Okay, so now let's switch gears, now that that's out of the way. So if you only watch this video to hear about video game news, you can go ahead and go watch whatever else you're going to watch, because now I'm going to talk about myself. So what have I been doing? I've been applying to college. It's kind of a scary thing. Um, I don't know how how ready I am for this experience I'm going to have in my life, but I will be going to school for interactive media and game design to either Worcester Polytech, Rochester Institute of Technology, or Carnegie Mellon University. Um, I would be incredibly lucky to be accepted to any of those schools, so we'll see what the future brings. I will let you Putians know. So what have I been playing this week? Well, funny you should ask me. I have actually uh, been playing the old PSP. I know. I know! <laughs> um, so I've actually been interested in buying all old UMD discs off Amazon because you can get a game for like $10. It's like the perfect game system. I have been playing Untold Legends. I don't know, it's not, it's not anything fantastic. It just reminds me of old, old school RPGs and stuff. Oh yes! And I have been playing Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel Edition, which I... Okay, at first I was like, what? I gotta pay even more money after buying the game and... But I, it didn't, I didn't realize there are like physical statue things that come with your purchases. So I was like, what? This game is such a ripoff. Like, and then I was like, oh, the graphics for, for Disney having their name on it, shouldn't it look a little bit better? But it is mercilessly fun. I did make a map. Poor PewDiePie, so hopefully he'll play it in his next Disney Infinity Map video, I don't know, we'll see. It's called The Gauntlet of the Bros, so you heard it here first. Let's talk about my channel and what you can expect to see. So obviously every week on Tuesday, you can expect to see a Pucian News video, a new one. Um, cheesy intro and all. And aside from this series, our my Kingdom of the Sky Minecraft Adventure Map series is going to be up. Um, you can expect to see a Walking Dead Season 1 Let's Play, and I'm going to be calling my Let's Plays Lilliputian Let's Plays because of alliteration and such. Um, you can also expect to see Outlast Finished. I haven't recorded that yet, but it is getting done this week. I'm doing it this week. And with Winter Break coming up, expect to see, I don't know, two, two videos a day because I will have a lot of time on my hands and I just want to put as much of my everything into this channel because I really enjoy doing it. It is actually what changed my mind about deciding what my college major, among other things, obviously. Each and every one of you who has subscribed to me or will subscribe, maybe, thank you. I love to do this, and you are what make me do this. With that being said, I think Pucian News is, uh, is over.